<clears throat> what's up everybody hope your season went really well I know it's pretty much done for just about everybody it's, it's coming real close to a, an end for me uh, if it's not your season not done like mine you know keep getting after them don't quit you know there's few ducks but if you hunt them right you can still scoop some up today's video is gonna be about repurposing and reusing broken gear I have broken gear and I was like man and I was like I, I don't want to get rid of it I want to use it for something you know what's something else I want to do with it also the dynamics of the lake that I've been hunting on has changed a whole bunch and I had to think of another idea to kind of keep up with the ducks and what they're doing where they're gonna where they're at and all that good jazz and so yeah let's get into it yeah so flip me all around I had a Rogers a-frame Blaine Blaine Jesus blind and uh I turned it from that into that right there. And I'm gonna do a walk around real quick of the boat and this material. Yes, this material is not A-frame material, but I'll put a link in the description below. This is Shadow's Dog Hut, sitting right here on the front of the boat. As you can see, the material's looking pretty good. We got a couple windows up there on the side of the boat. You know, material's not sitting too, too low. <clears throat> material right there. It's sitting like just out, you know, definitely out of the water. It's covering the engine a little bit. And we all, we all break stuff, but it's about how we reuse it and repurpose it. We all know that <clears throat> the hunting gear is not getting any cheap by no means. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy a boat blind that fits your boat that you really like. I'm not saying that. But for the guys out there that not quite sure exactly what they want to do or maybe they want to turn their stuff into a multi-role multi, multi -role use, I'm going to show you how to do that. I just happened to lose the legs to my A-frame and I, I had to do something else with it. Because we were still setting it up and it was all extra crazy how we were setting it up and all that good jazz. And so, I was like, alright, cool. New idea. What are we going to do? And I was like, boat blind. That, we're going to turn it into a boat blind. <clears throat> and how I did that, turn you all around. Got these aluminum plates right here for the T-rail. I forgot the name of them or where I got them. Pretty sure you could find them though. But uh, drilled one inch holes and just slid the pipes down. It is literally still the entire A-frame. Everything, except for the legs. Still have the brace poles right here. We cut three inches off of those to kind of suck it in a whole bunch. Um, and that's a Rogers four-man blind. I have an 1860 boat. It fits this thing perfect. It is literally end to end. It goes all the way up there, all the way up against the, the actual high deck. And it's just a couple more inches from the back. Sits in here perfect. And we did that for all four sides. But how we built it, how we kind of changed it up a little bit, is we added a lean to it. A hard lean. So like right here is the upper pole. It's about maybe six inches over my head or so. And then, as you can see, we kind of have that, that 45 look. I think that adds a little bit of dynamics. This is still quite high though. <laughs> Sitting up underneath here, which I think is good. Why? Because you can put your bags up underneath here. If you're reaching for stuff, no, nothing can see you really. I mean, you still have full access to the tray. You know, lickies, chewies, ammo, drinks, whatever the case may be, it's, it's in there. You know, you're, you're good to hook. Downside is this bucket with the trolling motor because you can't sit on the bench i thought about taking the trolling motor out but we do use the trolling motor a whole bunch especially if we have cripples you know it makes it a lot easier to get after them instead of just running the engine a whole bunch you know i can just use the trolling motor it's a little bit more quiet and if they're just far enough away from you know shooting them again you get the boat you get them it's quiet the other dudes can still shoot while you're chasing a cripple through the timber or whatever uh, if you're hunting from shore, so I just left it on there. Plus, it makes it easier for picking up decoys. Uh, 
big things I like about this, it's really easy to set up, uh, really easy to take down. Uh, it opened up the whole floor. The whole floor is open when it's set up. Yes, I only have three shooting windows. Typically, I only hunt with three guys, but sometimes I hunt with four. Or I'll have uh, myself, two other hunters, and, and maybe a dude on the camera. And so I kind of set the boat up for primarily three. We can shoot four out of here, and I'll show you how we shoot four. Or you can shoot three and have the camera guy in the corner, and he can get some, some baller uh, action shots up out of the boat. Also, this makes it really easy for Shadow to get back up there into his little dog hut, which I think is super vital. He'll climb up on the back on the, uh, on the, not, not spuds, not pontoons. Yeah, pontoons. Yeah, the little flotation pontoons on the back. He'll climb up on that, come across, get back up there in his little dog thing. He'll be chilling, he'll be able to watch the ducks and stuff, and he'll be able to jump out and get after them too easy. This this thing is too easy to take down. I still got to make some modifications to it. I want to pin some of the, the cross sections that go together, but it's the A-frame. And we all know the A-frame poles, they all have the little cords in them and stuff to kind of bring them back together. And how we take it off, we just bring the material into the boat, we pick it up, and then we disconnect everything just like you would, except for the top pole, because that's where everything's zip tied to. And then we just lay, once everything's, you know, folded up, we just roll it up and then lay it in the boat. One in the gunwale or the little tray, the little gun tray right here. And then over there on the, over the gun box. <clears throat> and so, I mean, that's, that's how, that's how we set it up. And then to, to take it down and to set it up, you just let go of the legs and they almost already put themselves into place. Take out the cross sections fold those up too and you put it inside there and it's good to hook it's that easy we used tough tough brush as our overhead cover they just kind of break up some of those windows which i believe you can also find on rogers uh, we just zip tied those in the thing i like about this material though is if you are using like a scissor it actually has sleeves right here this is a sleeve i don't know where the open oh here it is It's got this, it's got these sleeves right here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. But yeah, it's got sleeves so that we can put a pole in there and sink it. So it's not flapping around the wind a whole bunch. But I did it in reverse on this so I could have something that I could pull on and kind of suck the material a little more forward. You can also move the material back some. Uh, how we plan on shooting up out of this is not standing straight up, but shooting up and out standing up and out one because we're shooting from a boat which is already an unstable platform you want to have a good shooter stand so you can get on target a lot faster this tough brush you know it's just you're just going to pop up and it's either going to go back and it's going to fall off to the side or it's going to fall off behind you and then you're just going to pull it back over the top but we plan on shooting up and out and then you just spread these out a little bit and it just adds that break up to the windows I forgot how much this material cost behind me. Uh, I bought a pack of three. But if you got a if you got an A-frame, as long as I have legs, you might as well reuse it. And this stuff is pretty light. I mean it's shaking it. It's not going anywhere. I mean I think it should last. I think it should work. The only thing I think I'd probably need to do, I could have built like an actual like window window where like it flips back and like all this stays together. Right now it's just zip tied to the material. I just got to pin these right here so that way they stay a little bit tighter. <clears throat> and I think, I think the whole thing will be good to hook. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably about... Sorry, it's bothering me. In fact, that wasn't all the way in there. That one isn't either. It's all right. I'll fix it here in like a day or two. Oh yeah, let me uh, put you guys down for a second.
that's kind of the the fourth window you know right here just slide this pull over a little bit and the plan is to suck in some of this material yeah can't do it with one hand sorry it's getting all crazy and i'm pulling it down because I don't have it all tied up like I'm supposed to. And just tuck it in there and then guy, you know, you want to get the whole action shot and the whole scene. You know, he can just be popping his head out right here. Make it nice and tight. Yeah. That's it. That's how I reuse it. That's how. That's how I repurpose my A-frame. I hope this helps. If you got any other suggestions, that'd be like super cool. If you got videos on what you did to repurpose something, you know, drop that link in the in the comment section and I'll go I'll go watch the video, give you a like, give you a share, you know. But maybe it'll help me think of some other ways I can reuse some of my older equipment and I don't know, turn it into something awesome, something cool. But yeah, I think definitely have to pin those yeah now that I'm thinking about it and looking at it again I'm, I'm gonna for sure pin them I gotta, gotta go pick up some pins now but yeah y'all keep crushing them out there stay frosty